Hey guys, welcome to our latest art jam. Uh, as you may know, we're Timon and Lucas from our team. Hi everyone. Hey everyone. So they're going to be accompanying me today once again to create uh, an awesome art jam. Today we're actually doing a bit of a different topic. It's uh, it's ships. Uh, so basically. We each grabbed the same model of the ship and came up with something very simple uh, sketch-wise. So these are ideas that we're kind of bashing together. And we came up with three separate ideas, which we hope you guys can vote on below. And the winner will get a whiskey sent to him by the other two losers. So we don't know who's that going to be, but uh, whoever it is is going to get a nice whiskey at the end of this. So this is our second week, I believe, that we're remote, right, guys? I think that's the second yeah. week we've yeah. completed remote. And I'm sure, like many of you, uh, it's uh, you know it has its ups and downs and crazy times. That said, we also have seen some amazing initiatives throughout many countries in the world. Yesterday, last night, we had a clap for the NHS at 8 p.m. at night, and that was quite heartwarming and really, really, really nice. So we've also, um, we also wanted to give a little bit back into out the NHS. So uh, we're selling these PSDs that we've come up with, and basically all the proceeds from this, these PSDs and the, what they generate from this video um, go to a fundraiser that we've put below uh, in the link and that will be do donated to the NHS on behalf of Arky9. So if you guys can contribute, that would be fantastic. So I also want to remind everyone that there is the Folding at Home initiative from Stanford where we can all use our computer power, uh, and let's face it, we have great computers at home uh, and at work to solve um, this coronavirus epidemic or at least help with it. I also want to make a shout out to my friend Sergio Mercedes, or Mereses, so I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly, Sergio. Sergio uh, posted uh, this week a photo in which he's developing and 3D printing visors for the health workers around his region. I thought that was awesome and he's a 3D artist and I'll leave his link and I'm also going to leave his photo which I think um, it's awesome. It's just awesome how everyone is pulling all these resources together. That said, an end of the announcement, I would say guys, are you ready to, to do this? Let's go yeah. man, let's do it. <laughs> Awesome. So I hope, yeah, sit back, enjoy a beer. The whole team is in the is in the premiere chat. So feel free to jump in and ask them whatever you want. I, I mean, there's Jan, Michal, Danny, uh, Antoine. Am I forgetting anyone? Mateo, Lucas, uh, Timon, and myself and Kelly. So just uh, feel free to ask any questions. We will only answer what we can. <laughs> But yeah, so let's kick some butt and have some fun at the end of another week and grab a nice drink, okay? Okay, so let's get right into this. And Lucas, the model man. Yes. Start um, with your initial thoughts and what you were going with when you opened up this model. Yeah. Uh, so, so yes, you know, we, we had a model already done. So this phase is only uh, really exploring the moods, different cameras, different angles, um, see see how we can, you know, show this. Um, yep. So here was just a basic setup, you know, get some water. It's a boat. <laughs> you need water. Uh, we didn't water. use Phoenix or anything because we, no. we were basically going to paint this. It was just some ideas, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just a simple material um, done in straight in Max. So. Yeah, I think the goal oh, yeah. was to make something very simple with a minimum of like, there's just one asset, which is the boat. And you, you just did a plane for the for the water, right? With the um, water texture. And uh, and that's all pretty much. And then we can already do something with that. Playing texture. around with the HDRI. I think exactly. it's like fog. Yeah, it already looks quite cool. We we bought this model, by the way. We didn't model it because this is an art jam and we're here to have a bit of fun. I think we had like a time limit of one hour to two hours, something like that, around that. And uh, yeah, we let Lucas uh, just go wild on this in the beginning uh, to see what he could explore. And I think you just tried a few different um, few different ideas, right? We didn't sketch it. We didn't do anything. We're kind of, everything is coming naturally to us. So it's not exactly how we do you know, how we take an image, but it's more about like this, uh, how do you call it? When you're doing stuff like quite, um, uh, what's Intuit the word? In intuitive intuitively. Right? Yeah, yeah intuit intuitively. You know, we're not coming up with sketches. We're just, it's kind of a weird technique. It's not exactly like photo bashing. It's not exactly like kit bashing. It's just basically uh, coming up with a few ideas 
we had our ref board, the Pinterest one, which uh, we could also show uh, Timon. Yeah. And we yeah. put it up and it'll probably be on screen, which we had a few ideas for the boat concept. Yeah, and yeah. but the, the, I guess the main idea as well was to have a scene that's really similar for all of us, but then see what everyone can come up with. And uh, I think that's a really fun exercise to do because anyone at home can do that, right? Just grabbing an asset, uh, doing some exploration mm -hmm. in 3D and then just trying a lot of different takes in post and just having some fun. Yeah, I agree. Lucas, any particulars on this? Uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, um, so what I try to really focus on uh, with that's this is cool. cameras and yeah, and different lighting options just to explore, you know, see, see um, what we can do with that. Um, you know, previously you could see there was a bit more dramatic shots and mm. they also tried, you know, um, and then we, you know, we just chose from, from this, use it as a sort of starting point for the pieces yeah. we, we've done later. I think you came up with uh, quite a few uh, studies that you even shared with us because yeah. we did this uh, again. It's uh, a competition, but it's a bit of a hybrid one because everyone did their own stuff. But Lucas started first. You had the upper hand, Lucas. I have to say, not really. Uh, you kind uh, of, you kind of had the the lower hand because you you had to delve into it. And then after we saw it, we're like, okay, here's our ideas. I think uh, <laughs> we really kind of. Uh, I speak for for I think for a bit for all of us. The the palette didn't, that's quite cool though. Now that I'm seeing that, that's yeah. very cool. I didn't see that one. But a lot of the ideas come from this classical Turner-esque painting. At least that's what we, um, you know. These yeah, that's of, what we initially referenced, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of uh, very uh, dramatic. I think Fl Flight of the Medusa was coming to mind for some reason when, when I started to look around and say, guys, maybe something around this. Yeah, but it was, I think the part of the idea as well was taking like uh, the older paintings from the 19th century, but also using a, a more recent boat and see what we can do with that. And uh, I think that was also an interesting take uh, on the subject. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here it starts going crazy because the, the later in the process, the more, you know, the more crazy you go with, uh, with what you're uh, trying. I, I rather quickly scrapped it, wasn't too happy with it. So I uh, went back and started thinking, okay, you know, I've done quite a bit of exploration. Now what I this want one is to quite do. cool. I think if we controlled the lighting in that one and actually just had more shadow around, like it's coming through the, through the, the clouds, it could look really awesome. Yeah. yeah. And there was also a lot of different takes for the time. Like how long did you take on that? Like an hour or something? Yeah, that was about an hour, hour, 20 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's already quite a good take on it. But I think this kind of covers at least the 3D part of it that you you then hand it on to each one of us, which now we're going to go into the the fun part. Well, they're all fun, right? The exploration, etc. But now we're going into the sketching part to see uh, what each one of us came up with and who is actually going to take the title. Yeah. Right, so here's my take uh, on that image. It, this is just a render I prepared for myself and then I took quite literally the, what we initially were discussing to get in really heavily inspired by um, you know traditional paintings, uh, and as I cannot paint, but I can do 3D, I can you know use Photoshop <laughs> and sort of sort of give it the feel as you, as you can see you know just trying to um, make it feel like a traditional painting with this is you know just a, just a star getting a bit of the sky, a bit of the haze, and I kind of kept pretty much um, the mood from the start didn't, didn't change it too much. So you already had this idea in mind uh, with your render, right? Because I can see it, yeah. it already has this feeling a bit that you're going for a painting with these brownish tones and everything. Mm. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I really like it, man. My only critique that I ever said, and by the way, I can't paint either, so don't worry, I kind of get by, um, is the water just being a little bit too bright that I always felt it shouldn't be that white, hard, hard white. And I think you could have yeah, used maybe highlights. Oh, oh, you mean the water hitting? Yeah. Yeah. You could have uh, maybe photo bashed. Um, you could have put some photo bashing in there that would have really helped. I think. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what I was actually, oh, there was a little crush in there. I was uh, looking for some photos, just couldn't find anything fitting. Mm. Uh, and I just didn't want to spend too much time, you know, looking <laughs> <at the photo. laughs> Yeah. To, yeah. To, 
you know, to get that. I mean, I give it a bit of a taint later, uh, but again. It's still but, cool. I think, sorry, sorry, Timon, go for it. I just wanted to say that I think you really nailed the painting aspect of it because it's really, it, even especially the final, really looks like a painting or like something undrawn. And that's because you started mm. with the 3D base, but you almost painted everything else. Yeah. yeah. Later in the process, you can see sort of I started zooming in and just going along the edges uh, with a brush, uh, with a you know, bit of an um, uh, old sort of painting texture um, mm. to it, then, you know. So add yeah, some I rust and that. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it, dude. I really like it. I think uh, from this point onwards, what we do, if we really wanted to like uh, work into these, and because they are quick studies, we basically then start, you know, photo map painting and adding those photos. I think that mountain you just added, that was the missing bit. And once you added that, that kind yeah. of really, kind of, it really it's binded it together. The composition, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked a bit lonely boat and it kind of helps with the composition i don't think you went for this though you went for a more landscape one right no i actually ended up with a more uh near square format because um i know i i have that at least in the back of my head i was always thinking paintings are usually like that they're, they're not very landscape-ish they're more yeah um, actually you know. landscape ratio or format is a lot more uh usually cinematic or yeah. like something to do with the video Mm. And uh, the the format you you ended up with is actually yeah really close to what painters used back in the days. Yeah, you guys listen to Matthew's podcast, eh? When we <laughs> did the image review when he talked about that and like the classical formats. Then I asked him about Instagram, and he uh, <laughs> proceeded to school me. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like what Matthew said about really looking back into art history and actually learning that because I agree fully with him when he says that. People nowadays are taking, looking too much yeah. into other people's Instagram. Yeah. That's very cool what you did here, though. I'm just sorry, Timon. I'm just yeah. seeing, like, you kind of painted to, to give it all that more painterly feel and kind of... Yeah, yeah, exactly. ...brush away. That's very cool, dude. I mean, you say you don't paint, but, you know, we do what I we mean, can with the tools we have, right? Exactly. 3D base helps, you know, to, to, yeah. to get that. And uh, yeah. you added some uh, uh, canvas uh, overlay or texture. Yeah, just something, you know. It, it's not ideal. It's not, you know, what I exactly, a uh, little bird. Uh, it's not exactly how I wanted it, you know, to be 100%. But I was like, okay, you know, it just keep it like that. It's, you know, yeah, good. it's cool, dude. I think you did a really good job. So it's I think a, it's an awesome take, really. Yeah, let's see who gets the whiskey. And now on to <laughs> Timosabi. Let's look at what Timon did. Right, so for mine, I was really actually inspired, as we said, um, we mentioned before, by the marine art from the 19th century. It's kind of the initial idea we had, and I really wanted to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try to make this look as much as possible as a painting. Because uh, for me, the comfort zone is really going into like a concept art approach, um, almost cinematic approach. And I was like, yeah, let, let's try to actually make this image look a lot like a, like a painting that could have been done back in the days. Mm. So I, I just started experimenting a bit with uh, what I had in 3D and uh, I had a ton of um, stock photo here and um, I'm just experimenting a lot, grabbing the photo, putting them in there and trying to kind of get my head around it, what type of mood or feel I want. Mm -hmm. um, before I started working on that, I also um, took some time to get a, a mood board going, as you saw a bit uh, before. And uh, the mood board is almost an exclusively old paintings. I think there is just one or two of, uh, of Jam uh, Jurabev in there, because uh, I, I just don't understand how this guy makes death look so <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 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 he's a machine. He's incredible. So this in is good for it, sorry. Well, I just wanted to say in the beginning, it's just about like a lot of bashing, experimenting, trying different photos until I get the, a base I really like. And then from there, it's just honestly detail. I'm just trying to build the image from there. I really like this one. Do you want to have to say like it's got a lot of um a lot of action. Uh it's uh very oh man, it's very like imminent action. It's got that whole thing of those types of paintings of the storms and the weather and it's uh it looks really cool in that thing. My only critique in this that I mentioned to you was uh, the the window the, yeah. the 
the light in the cabins, yeah. which I think is just I exaggerated. fully agree. I think like I wanted to get some more drama, but I think it really didn't need that because everything is mm. so dramatic and contrasty already. And I think this windows is like going too too much into a Hollywood uh, type of way. And I really don't think they're bringing anything. Like it's too, too mm. light. It's uh, as Lucas mentioned as well to me yesterday uh, when we were reviewing that in house. Is um, they're even brighter than the sun? I mean the moon or mm. the back. So the, yeah, that shouldn't be like they, they should be a lot darker. Yeah, no, it's very cool, dude. Actually, sitting back and watching this is uh, super nice. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, like the process, you, you, how you went about it. Well, the, the big challenge for me was uh, especially the color palette because I usually, when we work on or act these images, right, we uh, try to keep in mind more how would reality look like and how to su sublime it, like make it look a lot more, you know, take reality and make it better and almost photo, like working more as a photo real base. Mm -hmm. But here, what I, tried, what I really tried to do was to make it look like a painting. So it was a bit of a different way of thinking with the color palette and uh, my composition and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's super cool. I, I Would you would you paint over this to give it like that strokey? Honestly, like, yes, hybrid? I think so. But my, my, wor I th my worry with doing that is then it gets a bit more concept arty. But I think if you have a good set of brushes that mimic like some uh, old painting um, brushes, maybe, yeah, I, I would have loved to take some time to actually add some um, more hand painting like Lucas did. <laughs> oh, those dudes there are very cool, dude. Yeah, I, I was trying to find some people who would be like, you know, this ship is going through a storm and everything, so they would be a bit panicked. And uh, I don't want just a sailor standing there. I wanted someone, you know, into action. And uh, they fitted really well up there. Just, yeah, uh, yeah, they're very cool. I think people always give like the, always give the, they just give something to the scene. And that's, yeah, you know, they bring a lot to the story and also they really bring scale and i think that was the main main intent but um yeah if we were to map paint this this would just be a question of time and and just slowly um um just slowly bringing in that detail really yeah yeah because it was quickly bashed i think the, the the total took me like two hours um i think would be good enough for a concept image but definitely we would need more detail and for a client's image, we need a lot more um, refining and more definition mm. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool, dude. I'm kind of just sitting back and relaxing and enjoying it. <laughs> Maybe we can play some soft music in the background, like <laughs> some, uh, some Vivaldi or something. <laughs> like that, some bar. <laughs> we can just chill. Uh, are they, all these are super cool. And it's kind of awesome to see everyone has their own style. Uh, and and just seeing how those styles evolve. And I've known Lucas and Timon for what, four years, three years and a half, something like that. Yeah. And just seeing how they've evolved, their art has evolved. It's so awesome. All right, so now on to mine. And well, I don't know if I'll get the whiskey, yeah. guys. And basically, I just, um, I developed, you'll see a bit of the reference mood board come up. I didn't really know where to go with this. I kind of had this these couple of images, which you'll see pop up sooner or later, which are my refs. And I knew I wanted something around there. I kind of thought to give it a bit of action, could it go into this storm? And then uh, I was like, yeah, but I want something very moody. And it's kind of funny that it worked out very similar to the previous Hot Jam image. <laughs> so that makes me not so happy. But I, I knew I wanted something around the ice. I knew that I wanted something to do with um, this, this kind of very, um, very, um, very atmospheric mood and something very dark. I don't know why I'm in my dark era now. So uh, I used to be all about the tropics, and now it's like this dark era. So I just started. Yeah, so I just started experimenting around with a few different photos. Again, I wouldn't say this is a painting. It's more kind of. Uh, bashing around some photos and ideas and just making that, making that, um, getting that general feel. The sky is always such an important element for, for me to understand what, what mood I want to go with. Uh, sky and the, that foreground, midground, just make me understand where I want to go. And a lot of times, like when I'm working on it, I, I, especially for this one, I just wanted to build everything around it. I didn't quite, quite want to get into the values yet. I just wanted to understand, okay, how is this guy? In my brain, I'm imagining it, but it's not that advanced in, in the image. So I'm just trying to resolve the big shapes and 
the forms and how they work. So you won't see it. You'll see that there's a few jumps when I start to kind of think a bit more about the values and how those values are, are interacting, how they're leading our, how they're leading our eye. So I just endlessly experimented with this, with cutting, cropping, uh, doing different takes on it. You'll see as well, Lucas pop up because we had a bit of fun <laughs> whilst we were talking about it. So that's actually like Inception. You have our chat and you have this chat appearing. But yeah, and always like the figurines to give it scale. It was kind of this boat that just had been abandoned and uh, stranded due to these ice caps. And I thought, okay, maybe it's it's been there a week or so and it's starting to gain those um, that ice. What are they called? The... Ah. I can't remember the name. Stalactites, stalactites, oh, okay. or something. They're growing the ice, dripping and stuff like that. Anyway, I endlessly went back and forward with this, and I, I knew I wanted this really dark, but I didn't know how dark. And you see, then you know the sky. I, I didn't record everything because I, I stopped and went back to it a little bit. But then the sky changes a little bit, and I felt that the sky in that background really helped to to the composition of the boat and how I was going around it. Yeah, and I also, like I noticed, you started your image really dark and then you slowly bring back uh, the light and the values where yeah. uh, you wanted them to be. So to really build efficiently the story around this boat. Yeah. And, uh, I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm saying that then, you know, I just never found the images that I wanted for that foreground. It was really hard to, to really get those images and I still am not 100% happy with it. But I think once I started adding in that depth, kind of messing about with the, um, with that foreground, messing about how the ship was being placed against those things, and and just uh, just popping those little rocks, etc., you know, things started to come a bit more together. But again, like Lucas, you know, I can't I can't draw. Like, I'm not saying like you. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not like the best drawer in town. So those are my refs. But so we make the best we can and kind of trying to trying to push out that, that detail, that red. Um, yeah, but you actually also took a bit of that approach, you know, to just leave these brush strokes in there, you know, just don't yeah. Yeah. don't really uh, replace it later with photos or, you know, do it super precise. Just, yeah. you know, just paint it in a little bit. And from a distance, I mean, I, I can't tell the difference. Yeah, I, I, I honestly think that's the whole thing about this art jam, right? We're, we're doing the best we can with what we have and our skill set. So it's about enjoying it and embracing that a little bit, uh, assuming a little bit of our mistakes and our weaknesses. And I think, like everyone, we, we all have them and things that we should improve on. Um, it's, you know, it's part of it. So uh, I guess that's the fun of this. Why, you know, if we really wanted to map paint this, we would have, you know, like every one of us could have taken our image and bedded it. But we had like an hour, an hour and a half, two hours max. And yeah. we had a bit of fun with it. And I think that's, uh, especially now that we're remote, every one of us, uh, and also the, the team, the other part of the team, when we can, we'll be joining this as well. They're, they're doing the best they can. I think that's the beauty of it, right? It's kind of just, having fun if we're like developing this for a client that'll be different we're, we're taking much longer we're really doing our best um with each one so i think that's kind of the end and uh i guess now don't forget to vote below uh and see uh, who's got the best one uh who's getting the whiskey <laughs> wherever it is deserves it um so yeah it's uh, it's it was fun i hope you guys enjoyed it um, and there was a ton of fun on this one, really. And uh, I think we all try something different as well. And uh, I really like seeing the results, like all three images together like that. Yeah, I was about to say, they actually look good as a... I mean, I, I just noticed we all did pretty much the same, uh, pretty much the same angle for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny that no one went on the top angle. I remember yeah. I spoke about that, those glacier things. I wanted to project, ah, it was a bummer to find like good <laughs> images. And I, I'm, I mean, we're doing this in our own time, so it's, uh, I was a bit lazy and I was like, okay, let's just do something <laughs> <laughs> to optimize this. So I think we've come to an end. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at home also enjoyed it. Any last words, uh, Timor and Lucas? I just hope we can keep that going because uh, it's a ton of fun and uh, I can't wait for next week as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, agree. We already have ideas going, so yeah, you guys look forward to that. 
yeah, I think this is a ton of fun and uh, I think everyone's enjoying it as well. Awesome. Catch you on the next one, yeah? Catch you next week. Don't forget the links that I've put below. Don't forget to help out, to join, to donate, to buy these PSDs so that you can also support the cause. And till then, guys, thank you very much. Uh, another Bye -bye. week done. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy your drinks, guys and girls, okay?